Black Myth Wukong, inspired by Journey to the West. This is the first hands-on preview. When I first heard about this game, it's actually the video game where I learned about Journey to the West with Sun Wukong and Bajay. And I watched the 80s version of Journey to the West, and it's, it's really good. That's where I learned about Wukong. Well, I first learned about Wukong with this game, but Journey to the West is very cool, and I can't wait to see some more of this this game. It's first hands-on preview. Let's check it out. Since Black Myth Wukong released its first trailer three years ago, every year on August 20th, the developer Game Science has shown something new about the development progress of the game. However, what's three different years this year is that we finally got to play it. My 45-minute demo provided three boss fights and a relatively complete chapter experience. It's worth noting that after the event, the dev team made some adjustments to the trial version based on the feedback and suggestions received during the closed-door evaluation that I participated in. As a result, my experience may differ slightly from what others experienced in Hangzhou and at Gamescom in Cologne. Hands-on preview Black Myth Wukong! Due to time limitations, this trial version did not include the level up system. However, it provided players with a set of skills and equipment that will be obtained in the mid-game of the final version. In addition to basic light and heavy attacks, the protagonist's attack stances can be switched between three different postures including smash form, pillar form, and thrust form at any time. Furthermore, That's spells cool. such as Immobilize, Stone Solid, Ring of Fire, and The Pluck of Many are also available for use. There are also two transformation abilities. One turns you into the previously seen Fireblade Wolf, and the other results in a creature with poisonous attacks. Additionally, players will find and collect certain potions for in-game use. It's important to know that these configurations may vary slightly depending on the different stages. The first boss is named Centipede Gwai, and it appeared in the first 13-minute gameplay trailer released in 2020. This time, it awaits players in a creepy. horrible cave. Its attack methods include rolling and heavy punches, as well as the ability to release poisonous gas. This gas inflicts a slow-acting poison effect on the protagonist, causing gradual health loss, which can only be cured by consuming antidote potions. However, that this enemy boss is, is considered creepy. relatively easy overall in terms of difficulty for this trial version. After becoming familiar with its attack patterns, most players should be able to defeat it easily. The second boss is the Macaque Chief, as seen in the snow yeah, the of the 2021 trailer. This time, players can experience the sequence just as it was shown. You can observe how the protagonist's movements and combat in the snow-covered terrain dynamically affect the accumulation of snow in real time. This battle also holds a secret. If the Macaque Chief's health Great is reduced to physics. half within a certain time, it triggers his second phase. To encounter the monkey with wings, the protagonist needs to venture deeper into the scene. In this state, the monkey's aggression, attack range, and attack patterns all increase significantly. It gains the ability to launch aerial assaults against the player, making for a thrilling and intense encounter. The third boss is the Tiger Vanguard, who appeared in the 2022 oh. trailer. This time, the Tiger Vanguard awaits players' challenges in a blood pool in a temple. According to the developers, this boss will play a role in the storyline as an NPC who imparts the stone-solid skill to the protagonist. Therefore, you will witness him using this skill during the battle. One highlight of this scene is how the water reacts and changes dynamically with the actions in combat. The Tiger Vanguard boasts the highest attack speed and aggression among the three yeah. bosses. Not only Water does he possess both great. physical and spell-based attack abilities, but his combo attacks also deal substantial damage, making it easy to fall victim to his assault. The chapter experience provided during the Hangzhou event that I played the game at is called Purple Cloud Mountain. The overall scenery is somewhat reminiscent of the in-game footage shown in the 2022 trailer. This is a relatively complete level experience, featuring various environments such as forests, villages, and temples. There are also as many as four or five types of enemies waiting for players along the way. 
Don't underestimate these minions as they also possess the ability to deliver a fatal blow to the protagonist with a single strike. There's also a detour path in the level that players might Don't not easily find where they can encounter a hidden boss, the Poisonous King. This creature has the appearance of a scorpion-like monster. After engaging in conversation with it, players need to break the wine barrel beside it to start the battle. This hidden boss <laughs> presents the highest level of difficulty in you this have trial to break the wine barrels. It possesses extremely fast attacks, deals heavy damage, and boasts skills that inflict poison on the player. It took me nearly an hour of fighting to defeat it, and there were several instances where I succumbed to poison before being able to use the cure potion in Very time. Very Souls-like. while Black Myth shares some similarities in its mechanics with the Dark Souls series, the combat feel here is quite distinct from any other similar games. In my opinion, this distinction mm. arises from the fact that, in other Souls-like games, players typically wielded weapons like swords or axes, with the grip at the weapon's end during combat. Elden However, Ring. in Black Myth Wukong, the main weapon is a staff, primarily held in the middle. The grip on the staff because changes you're according to different moves, creating a varied rhythm and action, even changing the length of the staff in combat. The impact feedback from the staff striking enemies is quite distinctive as well. Coupled with the support from the spell system during combat, Black Myth Wukong stands apart as an action RPG with a unique feel, differentiating itself from other ARPG and action games that have come before. Ultimately, despite developer Game Science providing a substantial amount of gameplay content in this trial version, there are still numerous questions Wukong. waiting to be answered. For example, whether the protagonist possesses any other weapons, how the level up system works and what the skill tree looks like, and how many transformations and spells are available. All of these questions oh, can that. only be answered once the game is finally released. Speaking of which, Black Myth Wukong is currently scheduled for release in the summer of 2024 for both PC and next generation console platforms. For more on your favorite games, keep it right here on IGN. Nice, nice, nice. Now I don't know if there's going to be any other weapons. I mean, it's Wukong. His staff is his weapon. But he can also turn into different objects, and so he might maybe you can utilize turning into different things as like a Another weapon? I don't really know. But it is Wukong. Wukong has his staff. Just like in Journey to the West. But the graphics in this game look super good. The water physics are really good. The snow. It reminds me of God of War when you'd walk through the snow. And it's just like displaces the snow. Or like in Red Dead Redemption 2 when you're going through the snow. So yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. I remember seeing a trailer, like they said, like two or three years ago. So I've I've been interested ever since. And like I said, that's what got me into Journey to the West. I'm excited. Hopefully Baje has like a cameo or maybe you can play as him somehow. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching if you did. I'm looking forward to it. Peace out.